Have you ever wondered how species get discovered? How we know when something's new? I'm Dr Haley from the Research School of Biology at the Australian National University and I'm a parasite taxonomist. I examine worms like this and I describe them. If they're a new species, we need to tell the world about this. Firstly, I do this by collecting small mammals. Those small mammals might be host to parasites. Then I take those parasites back to the lab. When I'm back in the lab, I take my parasites and I treat them onto slides like this, make them flat and see-through so that I can look at them under a microscope and look at the features that make them different from all the other parasite species that we know. I describe the morphology of these species, looking at the key features that differentiate them, things that make it new and different from all the others. And then I get arty and I draw the worms inside and out. The final step is to name the new species. People sometimes like to name their new species after a feature that that animal has. Maybe uh, it's, its shape or the way it looks. People can sometimes choose to name their animal after the place where it was collected or maybe name it after the person who collected it. But because I describe parasites, I also have the potential to name my new species after people that I don't like. So then I submit my paper and when it's published and appears in print, voila, that's a new species. So that's the process of species discovery. Taxonomists like me find, identify, describe and publish information on all the species around you. Because if no one knows what these species are, no one can study them.